Good afternoon YouTube. My name is Quinez and I'm coming at you guys with a video to show you how I can download any song that I want on the internet using Python. I created a program where I can do all of this on the fly without having to go to the internet and search for a song that I want and try to convert that song into an mp3. So without further ado let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So typically what happened if I want to search for a song and download it I would go to YouTube and I would type in the name of the song and for this video I chose Lil Wayne you guessed it and once I go get the song I will copy the song and then I would try to convert that song into mp3 so I would navigate over to another um, internet tab and I would search for a mp3 converter to try to download my song Okay, so I will go to this YouTube converter right here and I will paste in the URL from the YouTube to this MP uh, to this website here and I will try to convert that song into an MP3. Okay, that's typically what happened if I want to try to download any kind of song. I mean, it's a long process, especially if I have uh, multiple songs that I want to download. So I created a program where I can do all of this on the fly. And I can download any hip hop, any R&B, any rap song that I want off the internet using Python. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. Okay, first thing I want to do, I want to open up my Python shell. This is Python 3.7. Okay, and my program is based off a website of datpiff.com. I'm going to click over to that website here. I am in no way affiliated with those guys that's actually created this um, this website. I'm in no way affiliated with them, but their uh, website is awesome. This is the website where you can download um, and play any of these artist mixtapes here. Okay, if you guys want it, y'all can check this website out right here. This is one of the best websites uh, for new release songs, new release uh, albums and mixtapes. You guys can go to this website and check it out. Okay, so let me slide this to the side and show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. Okay, and I'm going to open up my Python shell. This is Python 3.7, by the way. I'm going to navigate back over to YouTube. And earlier, like I said, I tried to download Little One and you guessed it. So what I want to do is I already have my program already pipped and installed. So I want to import my program now. So I'm going to say import PyterPiff as PD. Okay, let that initialize there. And there's two main parts of my program that you guys want to uh, try to get down. Um, the first one is um, the mixtape class, and the second one is the media class. The mixtape class is where you can search for any kind of uh, rap artist that you are looking for, or R&B artist that you are looking for. And the media class is where you can play the songs and you can download it. So let me illustrate what I'm talking about here. So now that I have my module uh, imported, I want to create an instance of my media mixtape class, and I'm gonna call PD dot uh, mixtapes. And with this mixtape, I can pass in uh, two arguments here. I can pass in a category, or I can pass in um, I can search for an artist. So I'm going to search for Lil Wayne. So I'm gonna put search equal Lil Wayne. Okay. Okay, now that my program is searching for Lil Wayne and it gave me something back, say it's found 52 of Lil Wayne's mixtapes. Okay. So now if I want to view all the mixtapes that I currently have now, I can say mix.mixtape and it's gonna print out all of the mixtapes that uh Lil Wayne has. So I know that the name of the mixtape is sorry for the way too, and this is the name of the mixtape right here, so I'm gonna copy that. Okay, let me scroll this up just a little bit so you guys can see this. Just for to make it a little bigger. Okay, now that I have the name of the mixtape, now I want to initialize my media class, and I can do that by creating an instance of that method of that class. So I'm gonna say pd.media, and I'm gonna pass in my mixed object that I just created. 
And the reason why I pass in my mixed object because I search for Little Wayne's mixtapes and I want to um, kind of speak or uh, push the mixtapes all into my media class. So I'm going to hit enter here. Okay. Now, once I have that media class initialized, now I want to set the media to whatever mixtape that I want to listen to. So I want to listen to Sorry for the Way 2. So I can do that by saying media dot set media and either I can pass in the index or where sorry for the wait to is at or I can pass in the name of the song. My program typically um, it starts off with the index of zero. I'm mean an index of one and not zero. OK, so if you're looking for sorry for the wait, you would uh, refer to that as index three, not index two. OK. So if I want to set the media to a little Wayne or sorry for the way too, I can either pass in two or I can simply put in the name of the mixtape. Okay, I'm gonna put the name of the mixtape in and sorry for the way too. So if I want to view all the songs that are currently in Little Wayne's mixtape, I can say media.songs. Okay, and it's gonna print out all of the songs that Little Wayne currently have in his mixtape. So let me go to that here on this website here, and I'm going to search for a little one. Okay, now that that loaded up, let me go to Sorry for the Wait 2. And I'm going to scroll down, and as you guys can see that all of these songs match up to the songs that I have on my program. Okay. So if I want to play any kind of song, I can do that also. I can say Media. So let me let me move this to the side and make this a little bigger. Okay. Okay. Now if I want to play this song, I can say media.play and I can put in the name of the song or I can refer to the song by the index or whatever song that I want to play. Coco, um, then they got Trap House. So if I want to play you guessed it the song that I was looking for I can grab this copy it and I can paste that in or I can refer to it by index it's, it's faster for me to put in the name of the song instead of reference by the index because I don't know what index the song is at and with my program I don't have to put in the full name of the song I can simply put in guess to choose you guessed it and my program will know exactly what song I'm talking about Okay, now typically that's how that works. Um, I'm not going to play the full song because YouTube might take this down because of copyright issues. But that's typically how that works. And if I want to download a song, first let me import my OS module. And I want to change directory to my folder. So. I have a custom folder that I already have in here and my tab completion is not working. Okay, and I'm going to navigate to my folder here. And if I want to download this song, I can simply say media.download. And I can do the same thing by putting in, putting in the name of the song. So I'm going to put guest. I don't have to spell the song out fully and it will download the song for me. So if I navigate and my file explorer over to that song you can see that that song pops up in my file explorer here okay now I already download the album already earlier so let me delete this album and say that I want to download Lil Wayne full uh, mixtape I can do that also and I can download the full mixtape on the fly so I can say media dot download and this time instead of downloading one song I would download the full album and as you can see little Wayne sorry for the wait just pop up on the left side of the screen Do you guys can see that or not make the text maybe a little small and it's going through here and it's downloading all the songs from Little Wayne mixtape. 
Okay. And I also can control the song. As you can, as you saw earlier, I paused the song because I didn't want YouTube to take it down. But I also can control the song using my media player. And I can either rewind the song, fast forward the song, stop the song. Um, and also, I can um, push the song into another device. So let me show you guys what I'm talking about here. So I'm going to say player player that I play and they resume the song that I just got finished pausing I can fast forward okay and there's a couple more things I can also control the volume let me show you guys that here so let me let me play the song first. So I just change the volume to ten. Also, can pop it back up to one hundred. Okay, I'm gonna pause that because I don't want uh, YouTube to take this down. But this is how my program works. And if you guys want to download it, like I said, you can go to um, either pipe or uh, PI or you can go to my github and you can clone it okay if you go to my github again that is github forward slash CBE droid forward slash pipe or you can go to pipe PI and you can download my um, program here if you have Python already installed okay and this program works on all different platforms from uh, Linux Windows and Mac uh, I have an Android version coming out pretty soon. Um, once I get finished with it, I will release that also onto GitHub and update the version of my PyPI. If you guys like this video, please give me a thumb up and share this video. And if you guys want to subscribe to my channel, I will have more content covering Python programming. And I have a couple more videos that I want to release. So you guys subscribe to my channel and you can stay up to date with everything that I release. Okay, without further ado, I'm out.